Hi everyone, welcome to this session with your coach Deepa. I want to ask you a question. Do you want your presentations to grab the attention and get the message across in the most effective manner? Or you want your speeches to be the most compelling ones? If the answer is yes, let's get started. Today, we're going to discuss six tips which are given by world's greatest communicators and also validated by the scientific research on various MRI scans that states how your brain gets activated when it listens and it speaks. So the tip number one is preparation. The moment you know this is the topic or this is the thing I want to speak on, you have to do a lot of research. And what is this research? You have to Google it about its literature, its latest trend, its facts, its statistics. So you have to do this research. And once you have all the data, you need to structure it. How will you structure it? You will remember these three points, the beginning, the middle and the end. Some problem, its solution and the call to action. And whenever you think of giving a presentation or a speech, think what is in your speech or your presentation for the audience. Don't think what is in it for me, rather think what is in it for them. Then only you can give that value to those people. Tip number two, you have to remember the three V's, verbal, visual, and vocals. These three is the foundation of any effective communication. Research have shown that only 7% is your verbal communication, and 93% is your non-verbal communication. The first V is your verbal communication that constitutes 7% but it is important. Please keep your sentences short. Don't overemphasize on one idea or one point. Always remember what is your speed of your words per minute. Generally it is said 140 to 150 words per minute, they are good. So you can Google search certain tools available online that can tell what is your uh, speed per minute. That's important. Second V is your visuals. Visual is the body language. This is, I mean, sometimes body language speaks louder. So you have to take care of that. Your hands, the way you are using your hands, the way you're making eye contact, the way you are placing yourself on the stage, everything is very important. Sometimes we keep touching our face, we keep holding our fingers, fidgeting our fingers. These are the signs of nervousness. So always remember to use hands which is in sync with your speech because when you use hand, you kind of animate and our heart, our minds are hardwired for animations. So this you can do. And the third V is your uh, vocals. Vocals is the tone of your voice. Whether you have a very soft voice or you have a very harsh voice, we all have maximum resonance point. So you need to know what is your resonance point. So then you can have this pitch where, where you taking it high and where you taking it low. You can Play with the intonation in your pitch high and lows where you have to put more emphasis, where you don't have to put emphasis that looks very dramatic and very nice. The third tip is you really need to grab the attention in the beginning and in the end. How will you do it? You will use various tools available. They are called as rhetorical tools. You can use metaphors, you can use uh, various facts, you can use various statistics, similes, analogies and most beautiful uh, tool that you have stories. You can tell stories in the beginning related to your uh, topic because stories are data with souls and it connect to your audience emotionally. So if you can grab the attention in the first seven seconds, it is likely that they will go with you till the end. And then the fourth tip is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is so important in any speech. If there is no enthusiasm, you will sound very boring and dull and nobody wants to hear a dull and boring person. Enthusiasm is something you are having ice chilled water in the middle of the desert. That's what enthusiasm do to your speeches and presentations. So keep your enthusiasm high, almost 10x actually. Fifth point is you have to use your audio visuals wisely. I mean, too much of audio visuals, your PowerPoints, your videos, your animation, sometimes distract the audience from your message that you want to give. So keep it to the minimum. 
And the sixth one and the most important is the practice. Practice is the key. You need to practice, practice and practice. And after that, practice, practice and practice. Practice in front of your parents, practice in front of your friends, practice in front of your mirror, practice in front of your dog. But practice. You have a beautiful tool, this mobile. Record your speech and presentation and listen and video play it and listen it. You will see the, uh, the filler words, the pauses, the unwanted gestures that you're making. You can always rectify that in your final speeches. So practice is the key. We almost need 10,000 of hours to practice any skill. Maybe it is a piano or hitting a tennis uh, ball on a tennis court or learning some new instrument, anything. So speaking is no less. So you really need to practice. Muhammad Ali used to say that he hated each and every minute of his training, but he never missed his training because he knew the kind of result it will give you at the end. So next time when you give your presentation, captivate your audience, inspire them and change the way they think. So let's conclude the whole session. We have discussed about the importance of preparation. We have to remember the three V's, visual, verbal and vocals. You have to show the enthusiasm to the maximum. We have to grab attention and have to end by the dynamic end. We have to keep our audio visual to the minimal. And last but not the least, you have to practice. Thank you so much. I hope you like this video till we meet again.